All right, well, I thought I'd make a little video of my DIY adventure, making the, uh, um, repainting the van for the second coat. It's my final thing to do, um, and it's a good day for it, so. But yeah, I thought I'd show you. So this is my off-grid jet washer. So I ended up buying this off eBay. Yeah, it's a Norse, uh, it's got a cool name. Um, it's like some Viking. But it's like a cordless uh, jet washer. I think you've seen them about. I ended up getting it for like 50 quid. I won a bid on it. But you get all these accessories that you can attach to it, sprayers, and then you've just got this hose, which you just put into a tub of water, so then you can jet wash anywhere you like. You can even use foam or some kind of soap. But yeah, I'm just gonna use it for the van, um, and obviously wash down the van before painting, so I can literally give it a wash. So I'm gonna paint it in the sun, uh, sorry, spray it in the sun, so it dries, and I might just roll it down past me to somewhere else to actually paint it today. But yeah, that's first mission. All right, here we are. So I've got my tank, got my water, and then you have all these different kind of things. But look, it'll wash it down. So uh, just gonna wash down all of the dust because I've just been sanding the whole van. And then I'll get it ready. So then I'm gonna have to masking tape up the van. So I thought I'd just do this now in the sun. And then, uh, yeah, I'll get onto the masking tape part. But cool, eh? Look at that, Woohoo! Pretty good for off-grid. So now it's had a nice little rinse. So I'll get on to, I'll let it dry a little bit and then get on to masking tape. And then we'll get on with a, a, a coat of paint, I suppose. It's also kind of crazy how much you get. I mean, that's 25 litres, but it goes forever. You literally can do the van for such a long time. But yeah, really good. Recommend if you're on the road and you need to clean. Even if you've got salt from the sea or mud. That's what I do, so I can keep my van in tip-top condition. Okay, well... Yeah, I've just washed the van, so it's just finding the spot. The problem with here is I'm on the road, it's clear on one side, but you've got trucks going past the other side. So it's a bit busy as well. There's a lot of tourists here. I'm in a bit of a tourist trap. So I'm just gonna try and roll the van somewhere else that could be a bit better to paint. I might even put it on the grass, but the problem is I don't wanna be in the um, direct sunlight either. So that's the, the fun adventure, but I'll find somewhere. Let's see. Right, so yeah, I'm next to this field and, and it's kind of shaded, so I've just pulled up on the grass. I'm not really bothered what people think about it, but it makes sense for me. Um, I can do it on the grass area and it's kind of shaded enough, I think, to get away with it. So and I'm out of the way of people, so they'll probably watch me, but I'm always like that. Crazy van guy, doing stuff wherever you want to do it. But yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it's nice here. It's like mad. It's actually quite nice. People look at you, it's funny because I'm in this like, posh area, so everyone's like, what's he doing? I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Crazy having a van parked on the grass. So yeah, people find it weird, but I'm in a posh area, so it's all like new for these people. So, um, but like I said, I don't care. So, uh, all right, it's okay. The well's not blown up. Yeah, they get funny because you're doing something not normal. Do you know what I mean? But, Okay, but yeah, I'm off the road, see, so I think it's all right. So I'm gonna do it here because it's a bit shaded as well. So fuck them all, basically. I'm doing it. My van, my walls. Now, yeah, I'm just gonna mask and tape up all the parts. Obviously, there's a lot here windows, mirror, you know, just get it all done. And then I can get onto stirring the second coat. Here we are. But yeah, I think the big part of uh, van life is just being really bold and brazen, which I, for the six years of me living in my van full time, I've done that a lot. <laughs> I think a lot of people kind of get a bit scared, like, where do you park? What do you do? Oh, but it's like, you just don't give a fuck, really. You know what I mean? It's just a part of life. I think I've always been like that as a person anyway. So everyone's looking at me, because it's all different for them. They don't see this happening, do they? Why is he on the grass? Hey, what's he doing? You know, it's always that kind of thing. So, but yeah, if you just don't care and do things, and then uh, you live your life. All right, so that'll be masked enough. I mean, I'm using a roller, so I don't need to go completely over the windows. Just the most of it, just the edges just so it will help me out. I mean, I can scratch off a lot of paint as well, especially on glass, you can get a, a blade 
So yeah, that's just the, the mirrors, the usuals. So now it's gonna get that paint stir, give it a good stir, and then uh, we'll get on with it. And then you have the funny moment when you realize um, you haven't got a roller. <laughs> well, I've actually got loads of rollers, but for some reason I've thrown away the actual uh, handle. So uh, there you go, just about to paint, and I haven't got a roller. Well, I've got paint brushes, but I wanna put it on with a roller. So um, I'm just gonna walk down to the shops. Luckily I'm quite near, so I can walk. So hopefully I can get a uh, mini roller handle from somewhere and I'll be back. Here we go, after a little walk, I found Yorkshire's hardware store. So that'd be perfect for me. Yeah, it's gotta get a handle and then I can actually uh, use the roller. There we are. Yeah, so I found the hardware store in Ilkley. Quite a nice little town as well. Uh, loads of shops, a bit fancy around here, it's a fancy place, not for the scruff bag like me, but I'm going to run off back into the uh, woodlands and uh, get on with my van. Holding out for now, just started to paint the roof, so it's had a coat up there, just working up the top and then working my way down, so I'm kind of on the back, um, the back door, so yeah, just rolling, kind of hard to film while I'm painting, so this is as good as it gets. But um, yeah, I'll show you. We can see the top now. Just gonna work my way down. All right. The van is complete. It was hard for me to film because uh, I had to get on with it. And uh, after my first car, I had lots of drips. It's quite glossy. So you have to kind of really keep on it to try and keep off the gloss. Um, but it's better this time. Better second coat, uh, less gloss, less droops, uh, droopy droops. Got a few bits. Got a few funny old people looking at me going, what are you doing painting your van in a middle of no uh, some garden? But it's fine. But, um, yeah, happy. I'm just going to remove all of the uh, remove all of the masking tape, and that's that. After that, I've just got to do all the black then bumpers. So once this is done, I'm going to spray and paint all the black, and then I'm completely done. This van will never be painted again. This was the last go. So that was my little painting adventure. But it's done, and there we have it. That is how you paint a van <laughs> on the road in the middle of nowhere. But not bad. Pretty good, little mini rollers and a little paintbrush. Uh, just taped it all up. But that's the second coat, so that's all I've done, these two coats. But that'll do. It's an old van, but it does the job. Like I say, it used to be black, so now I've gone for a grey colour. So, uh, there you go. That's how you paint a van off the road. So I'm gonna get out of here now and get off the grass so everyone can be uh, not so surprised by this. That's how you paint a van. <laughs>